Merry Christmas, hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome to the Christmas special episode of I Rate Your Teams. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. At some point in this episode, I don't even know when, uh, Sheesh will be featuring on the episode. Uh, Sheesh will be joining us in the I Rate Your Teams episode for today. Um, and we're just going to rate teams for a long time. I intend on rating them for... 45 minutes to an hour, hopefully just a longer episode for you guys uh, to enjoy over Christmas. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. If you do, please smash a like down below and let me know in those comments down below what you guys got for Christmas, whether you're 6 years old, 16 years old or 60 years old. Let me know down below what you guys got. Uh, I'm actually recording this on Sunday because I'm going to be with my family over Christmas, which I'm really excited about. Um, sometimes with YouTube as a full-time job, you don't really get to see your family as much, especially when you live away from them. So I'm really excited to spend time with them. Anyway, let's jump straight into the teams. The first one is going to be from Kian Southern. Second photo is what I use in game. I have 50,000 coins, but I'm willing to save up. Mbappe and Gomez are the only tradables. Planning to, do upgrade, planning to upgrade Gomez to an icon center back from icon swaps. What else should I do? So good question. So it's a nice team. I like the layout of it. Uh, in game, obviously, you're playing, you're playing this. Now, in terms of who I'd upgrade Gomez to, honestly... For a very cheap price, you can get a baby Hierro now. Hierro is a fantastic card. Like, his baby card is one of my favorite centre-backs this year for... Uh, that's an icon that's super cheap. Um, he's about 360k or 380k at night time. They fluctuate from, from time to time. Uh, but he's got good stats. He's got 75 pace, 87 defending, 82 physical. You can shove either an anchor on him, which gives him increased pace. You can put a shadow on him, which gives him increased pace and increased defending. Um, or you can put a, an engine on him which gives him pace dribbling and uh, passing all of which will upgrade his card massively and he's definitely worth the coins he's a fantastic center back this year so i would say as a icon center back go with hierro as your left center back for sure now where else would i improve your team i personally am not the biggest fan of tagliafico i understand why you've got him there but i'm not the biggest fan um i would personally look to possibly uh, eventually and this is a long time in the future upgrade to diego carlos i mean no not diego carlos um, I forgot his name. Roberto Carlos. Wow. My brain went then for a second. This is going to be a long episode. Um, but yeah, I'd go with Roberto Carlos. I'd then eventually try and upgrade Nakata if I can, if I, I, sorry, if you can. Um, I would then, you know, obviously I'd go with, uh, with, with somebody over here at left cam. That's an icon that that's going to be a good option. Um, there's a few different, you know, Del Piero, for example, is a good option. Um, or if you're looking for like a cheaper option, uh, Hadji has got some good cards that are quite cheap. Um, and then obviously save up towards getting uh, Neymar at left wing, uh, left mid, sorry. Neymar is different gravy on this game. He's just absolutely unreal real um and if you do get Neymar you can actually get any sort of Brazilian left back here uh providing you get Fernando Hierro um and then you you know you can get the likes of of any Brazilian left back whether it be Alexandro's team of the year nominee card inform Alex Tellez uh SBC Dalbert there's a lot of options there uh but no this team is very nice the next one is from Owen who said just bought Mbappe the untradables are Messi Dalbert Owen and Varane have a hundred thousand coins hashtag at Sabre also didn't know if I should play Owen or Mbappe at striker in game first of all I would definitely say go with Mbappe at striker in game. Um, if I look up Prime Owen's stats, for example, uh, he has decent stats, don't get me wrong, uh, but for me, the 80 stamina, really, it's good enough to be a cam. I, I think this card, like Mbappe, I think has actually got better stats for a cam. This is the thing. Mbappe's got better stats for a cam. I think he's got uh, better passing. Um, he's got better dribbling. He probably would be a better cam. Th that's the thing. But Mbappe at striker is just phenomenal and it's not worth not playing him at striker. I think he's wasted at right cam and as a striker, I think he'd be way better. And I think Owen's got, you know, his stamina is good enough to be cam. Um, I was just checking just in case. I know a lot of icons actually have terrible stamina this year, but he, he doesn't have terrible stamina. Eight stamina is more than enough. Uh, but I think that he's good enough to be a cam and definitely have Mbappe at striker because Mbappe at striker is lethal. Uh, for the rest of the team, I think it's very nice uh, in terms of players you can upgrade. I would personally say, obviously, Eder Militao has to be on that list, whether you're going with uh, his road to the final card, which is nuts, by the way, whether you're going with an icon, um, whether you go with anyone like that, he is definitely uh, next on the list to be upgraded. I would then look to upgrade in the near future or the long future, whether, whether it take you long or not, I'm not entirely sure, but go with Neymar at left mid over Bernardo, uh, sorry, Bernard. Um, Bernard's sick, don't get me wrong, Neymar is just... 
he's the next level. He's top notch. He really is. He's absolutely top notch. So I would go with that. Uh, obviously, you only have a hundred thousand coins to upgrade at this current moment. So, so it's not obviously it's not relevant to you um, whether you go with Neymar or whatever. But I'm saying uh, future upgrades because right now, when you have a team like this and only a hundred thousand coins for upgrades. There is nothing you can upgrade, realistically. There just isn't. Uh, that's why I always recommend upgrades for the future because there's nothing you can upgrade with right now. You might as well know what to do in the future than upgrade right now and, and be left sort of at a loss, I guess. Uh, anyway, the next one is from Is Rake. I hope I said that na name right. I apologize if I didn't. It says, got 120,000 coins. All special cards are untradeable. Love the vids and Merry Christmas. Well, thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. Uh, I do appreciate the support. So, um... All the special cards are untradeable in this team. What would I do with it? You've got 120,000 coins, did you say? 120,000 coins. I would say, first of all, upgrade this Wijnaldum card. Um, there's a lot of different options you can go with. You don't need a strong link to Firmino, so you could go with a uh, Sissoko. Honestly, I think Sissoko would be uh, a better box-to-box -box midfielder. I've just clicked on the wrong team there, haven't I? Um, I think Sissoko would be a better box-to-box. -box. I'd also upgrade Firmino as well. Uh, in terms of who you can upgrade to with Firmino, though, that is a difficult one. Uh, obviously, you're getting a strong link to Alan. He's got to be Brazilian. Um, who could you go with that would work? Now, there is Fernandinho. Too slow, in my opinion. Not good enough. Uh, you could go possibly with Lucas Moura and go with more of an attacking option. Um, for the rest of the team, though, I think the rest of the team is very, very good. Uh, I like the Trossard. Sterling looks decent. Um, Vardy as well looking decent. I like the way you play the 4-1-2-1-2 two, two in game. I, I like that formation this year. I think it's really good. Uh, moving on now, the next one is going to be from Zach. I do apologize if I said that wrong. It's just the H after, I'm, I'm guessing, is, is a H sound. Um, it says, I use a 4-3-3 for chemistry and then switch to a 4-2-3-1 in game. Everyone is untradeable except for Ben Yedder, Dembele, Sissoko, Mendy, Longley, and Semedo. The reserves are loan cards. I have around 100,000 coins, but I can save up. Now it says one out of two, because he then went on to say, also, do you have any tips on how to trade and make money for beginners? And should I use another formation other than the 4-2-3-1? By the way, keep the great work. Well, thank you very much. Um, so in terms of making coins, I'm not very good at trading. I'll be honest with you. I'm really not. The best thing I would say to you is if you're a beginner and you really are desperate to make coins, just play the foot game modes. If you can play squad battles, if you can play div rivals, if you can play foot champions, you will easily make a couple hundred thousand coins a week easily. Foot, uh, foot rivals in div rivals, sorry, you can easily make 50 to 60k just from that if you just choose the coins alone. Squad battles, again, if you finish in, in, in Elite 3 or Elite 2, you're making at least 50,000 coins there as well. And in foot jumps, if you finish in, say, Gold 3 or Gold 2, you're making a minimum 50 to 60,000 coins, maybe more. Now, factor in any, any cards you get that might have any kind of value. Uh, I'd say you're making at least a couple hundred thousand coins a week. That quickly becomes a lot of coins. You know, you've saved it for two weeks. You've got nearly a 500k, maybe more if you get lucky in rewards. It's not difficult to make coins this year. It really isn't. Now, in terms of your squad, uh, you have 100,000 coins to upgrade and you're looking to save up as well. What would I do? I think Balak is a definite weak link in this squad. Uh, obviously, he's holding the squad together. I see that he's holding the squad together here at left center mid. Um, you got, you got a few players from different leagues. What would I personally do with this? Honestly, I would potentially look at putting Ben Yedder down at left centre mid. Now, that's going to uh, obviously open up the top as well. Um, in fact, no, that wouldn't work, would it? I mean, what you could do is I would recommend saving for Mbappe. All right. Then you put Mbappe over there at left centre mid and in game play Ben Yedder as your, uh, say, wide left cam. Neymar is your central cam, Mbappe up top, and keep the rest of the team as is. Uh, obviously, it's it's an upgrade that's about 750,000 coins, maybe a little bit more, um, and it's going to take you a little bit of time. You've only got sort of 100k right now. You've got to save up 600k, but if, if you ask me, sort of look around for different traders, try and find trading methods, uh, sort of grind the game, grind um, any kind of method you can find, grind uh, actual play in the game. I think you can get to Mbappe not too long. I think it can take you a couple of weeks, maybe max, if that. Um, and you'll definitely have a much stronger squad with that one upgrade alone. Right, let me uh, back out into this now. So the next one is coming from Joel, who says, I have 50,000 coins. Only trader was a Griezmann, Dembele, and Hazard. And that's all he says. Great. Okay. Didn't want to compliment anyway, Joel. <laughs> um, okay. So this is what his team's looking like. I actually like the idea of Akuna. I think that's his name. Akuna. Akuna. Uh, over here at left CDM. And then uh, obviously Pep on the other CDM. I like that idea a lot. I've been thinking about myself, actually, if I should go with Akuna and then use him as a center mid. I think that'd be quite, uh, quite interesting. Um, what do I think of this squad, though? I mean, personally, here's the thing. I think you can get... I think you can do better. I think you can do better over here with Hazard. I think... 
what you could do here is I think you could sell Hazard. Um, now, obviously, Akuna is out here playing as your left CDM. You're looking for a camp. Uh, and, and, and sort of the requirements here are it's got to be either BBVA or Spanish or French or, you know, sort of however you want to go with it. Who would I go with as a cam here is a good question. Um, I think you can go with a host of different players. Um, it's, a, it's a tricky one. It is a tricky one. I don't like playing players off chem though. I don't. I really don't. So six six chem is not exactly uh, is not exactly something I, I favour. Uh, if I was to look at La Liga players here, let's go over to uh, to positions. Let's go uh, centre forward and strikers. We'll start off with that, and we'll go with La Liga Santander. Let's have a look at players you can use here that might actually do the business for you. Now, there's Kevin Gamero's scream card or Iago Aspas's scream card. Now you're playing Hazard where as a cam. Playing with a wide camp. So Gamero's passing is a little bit low for a camp, but not horrendous. Aspas's passing is great for a camp. This is definitely a card you can use here. This card looks phenomenal. Oh my word. Apart from a balance, which can be fixed with uh, a sniper, I believe. Takes you up to 78 balance. Or can you fix it with... What would an engine give you? 83 balance. Put an engine on this card, gives you 83 balance. The rest of his stats are very nice. I would say for, for 89,000 coins, it's worth playing on full chemistry this card, then Hazard. That's what I would do if I were you. I would personally get that Iago Aspas card. I would start him on full chemistry. I'd play him as left cam, and I think you'll have a lot more fun with him. Uh, alternatively, you could also play him uh, like sort of as, as well, yeah, no, I'd, I'd say start him as centre mid, play him as cam, definitely. I think that's a great, great option for you. Um, obviously, as well, you guys know, uh, just a little bit of a, a cutaway here, I guess. Um, you guys know that we got a footmas Mendy. I am over the moon with that. That has been... The best thing that's happened to me since, oh, I don't know, really, in FIFA. Uh, best thing th that's happened to me since packing Messi, I guess. Unreal. I'm so happy. It's like EA know how much I love Ferl and Mendy, and they've given me a special card for him. So I'm over the moon with that. Let me know down below if you completed them or not. I think now is a great time to transition to the, the part I filmed with Sheesh. So here's a little transition to the part I filmed with Sheesh. Um, I'm going to quickly go drink some water and prepare myself for the rest of this video. <laughs> okay, so we have a special guest for this episode. It is the Christmas special. And who other than the person that I actually took inspiration from for creating this series, Sheesh FIFA, or Yaya, as he's, as he's more commonly known. But Sheesh FIFA, I'll leave a link in the description to his channel where you guys can find him. He does uh, an I Rate Your Team series as well. His editing is incredible on it. You have to go check it out. It's really, really good. Uh, and like I said, I took total inspiration from him. Uh, you'll find like his link in the description of the uh, of the video. Make sure you go check him out. So uh, so yeah, yeah, are you ready to jump into some teams? Absolutely. And, uh, and, and check them out. I am uh, looking forward to it. So the first one is from Dennis, uh, who says, love the vids. Thank you very much, Dennis. Appreciate that, mate. Uh, he says, Fernandi uh, Fernandinho, Ferdinand, <laughs> Dembele, Guardiola, and David Villa are untradeable, and I have 500,000 coins after to buy the rest. So, uh, Interesting. Okay, so he's playing a four-two-three-one in game. It's mm -hmm. a nice looking team. Obviously, we can't see it because of the concept squad, but he's got a lot of nice coloured cards in there. Um, I think that Son is a road to the final card. I think, um, or it's a it's a UCL variant. I think, um, mm -hmm. and obviously he's got the informed tellers that uh, we spoke about earlier. I don't know. What would you think for upgrades for this squad? Who? What would I think? I mean, it's a top-notch squad already. <laughs> yeah, I'd agree with that. That's for sure. Um, mm, I would probably not go with uh, Sergio Ramos, although you need him for David Villa, which is kind of difficult here. So that was my first impulse. But yeah, with Villa, it makes sense. But yeah, also you cannot swap him with a son because of the of the nation. Wait, maybe if you if you swap him with Sisoko, like Via with Sisoko, no, it also doesn't make sense, right? And then Son with, no, difficult, difficult one. I mean, it's a pretty good squad already. Um, yeah. And I think Son, I think he could swap it with Son because he gets the icon link with Ferdinand. Son does the you icon know, link with uh, Guardiola, so he'd only have one dead link and the strong link with Zizoko. Um Yeah, the thing is, I was, I was. Thinking Varan needs a needs a um, needs another link. He needs a French link. Yeah, true. We go with maybe a, a informed Carver Howe over at right back um, to get the um, to get the Real Madrid link with uh, with Varan. True, that will work. 
Yeah, that would. That's actually a good idea. That's actually. Do you a have idea. a screen PK in the club? Is what, I, what I'd ask you, Dennis. If you have a, if you have done screen PK, it would be worth bringing him out, or possibly even uh, going with Longley at right centre back. Um, obviously, uh, you want to get that that David Villa in because it's it's such a, a high rated uh, SBC card. It's untradeable. You want to use him. Um, so. Like Yaya said, swapping uh, swapping David Villa with Son would be a good shout, I think, to, to help with links. Mm. And then it's it's ultimately personal preference from there, whether you go with maybe, uh, uh, if you have him in the club, screen PK, whether you go with a long lay over there at right centre-back, um, or whether you go with a Rafael Varane and get informed Carvajal over at right-back. Um, regardless, I think, like Yaya said, it's a fantastic team. Uh, it is a very, very good team, very top-notch squad. And uh, say you've got 500k left as well, I think if you hold on to your coins maybe for a couple of weeks, uh, you know, build up reward coins, um, play some weekend league, you'll have, before you know it, up to a million coins. And then you're looking at icons. You're looking at the big boy players to bring into the squad. So very nice team. Absolutely. Um, have you used that David Villa this year? I haven't. I was thinking of doing him, but uh, since he got his uh, five-star weak foot removed, uh, I thought he's too difficult to link uh, in order for me to to use him because I also did Paulinho uh, and I want to use Paulinho. And Paulinho and Villa is a little bit over uh, overkill when you uh, when you want to link them both because of the yeah. the leaks. Um, but yeah, I faced him in the weekend league, and it's a, it's a very strong card for sure. Yeah, he looks really strong. I was actually on vacation for that card and I missed out on it and I was gutted that I missed out on it because uh, I, I love doing all the SPC cards and just sticking them on my bench stupidly. <laughs> uh, I don't even end up using them. They just go on my bench and I don't even bring them on in game. That's the worst part. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, solid team, Dennis. Uh, moving on now, we'll go on to, uh, to Jude's squad next. Um, he says, play the same formation in game, just swap Griezmann and Niangalan, Nyangolan, in, uh, in game. Um, okay, so Griezmann's out there playing over on that left cam spot uh, and Nyingland playing as that right CDM spot. Now, we don't know how many coins he's got, so we're going to automatically assume he's got 5 million coins to work with. I think that's definitely a fair assessment. Uh, I, I can't see him not having at least 5 million to work with with a team like this. Um, <laughs> let's say he's got about 250k. Uh, what would uh, what would you improve there, Ish? What would I do here uh, with this squad? With what did you say, five hundred thousand? All right. Uh, how much budget did you say? I didn't get that because of the audio connection. I would say I I I, I joked around saying you'd have at least five million coins to work with. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> no, I'd say about <laughs> I'd say it's probably fair to say about two hundred and fifty k because I mean it's it's a good looking squad. He's got some really good players. Yeah. Um, and obviously he hasn't left us the budget, so I'd say yeah, probably about two two hundred fifty k something like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, Lautaro Martinez. Um, I did play him personally. I know it's a good card. Personally, I didn't like him at all. I don't know why. He kind of didn't do anything for me. Uh, so here, I would probably go with Insigne uh, instead as, as an example. Um, you said you didn't like Griezmann. Um, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of Griezmann, no. Yeah. That would be that would be an option to replace him by and on this case you play the four four two three run correct so you could play Frankie de Jong on cam that would be an option but also you can play uh, Griezmann on the on the left uh, cam position um, yeah other than that also that's a really good a good squad already um, yeah he's got a really nice squad I mean. Um, and also, also if you change on... Insigne, then Dybala isn't on full camp, so I see why. But you, you could, could you could Dybala swap them. Striker, yeah. You could swap them, right? You could you could uh, put Insigne yeah. on cam and then uh, Dybala on striker, in order to make that work. Yeah, it's a really good squad, definitely. It is. It's a really really strong squad. Uh, ultimately, I feel like you just you you're sort of saving up now and 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 waiting to upgrade players. Definitely, Alexandra at the left back spot. His team of the year nominee card is actually really good. Uh, used him for quite a while and, and and thoroughly enjoyed him last weekend. Obviously, road to the final. Allen's definitely uh, uh, a, a personal card that I use in my team at the minute, and uh, he could be an upgrade for you. Um, but aside from that, I think you've got a really nice team. Uh, I'm liking the uh, the bench players as well. You know, you've got Red Bergwin, uh, Red Red Promes. Um, you know, you've got Bale and, and Gabamin on there as well. So I'm liking the squad. I think you've got a nice uh, nice variation of plays in there. Yeah, me too. Um, 
So yeah, I, I like it a lot. Uh, moving on now, we've got Ben Squad. Uh, the tradables are Allison, uh, Malqui, Dinye, Keen, uh, Komen, Sizoko. He's got 60,000 coins and he plays a 4 2, four, two, two. <laughs> I'm guessing 4 triple 2 in game. Uh, Ben's a striker and the wingers become cams. Okay, so he's got 60k and interestingly enough, that Baby Keen's tradable. I wouldn't go for that card if I was looking for a, an icon um, or, you know actually buying an icon as opposed to doing maybe a base icon SBC. Yeah. Um, it's definitely an interesting choice. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, same. I wouldn't, I would never go with Keen for sure. Not the much better players uh, that you can use other than him. Uh, for example, you could uh, swap him with Crespo and then you can place any French player there. Um, yeah. And you could put, uh, put in uh, Pogba, for example. Uh, which is uh, is a really good option. Also, although his uh, stats don't suggest that he's really strong defensive uh, defensive wise, so that would be an option. Um, yeah. No, I agree with that. I think that's a good shout. You know, Pogba as well. Um, you could look towards at some point in the future Kante as yeah. well. Um, he's a great box to box. Um, no, I, yeah, I, I think I think that's a good shout though. I think uh, I think selling uh, selling Keen. Um, moving Crespo over to right center mid and then bringing in uh, Pogba to, to play as a, uh, a CDM in game or Kante, whichever takes you fancy. Um, it's definitely a good shout. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure about Murillo off chemistry. Uh, yeah. I think that's an interesting one. I see you've got Joe Gomez on the bench, who obviously is a really strong center back. I don't recommend swapping them out at the minute, but if you are struggling uh, at the back, that might be um, a reason. You know, you might be struggling because of an off chem center back uh but i would like you to let me know in the comments down below how that murillo was in, or is in game because i actually as well that's another one i regret not doing um i was going to do him and i forgot that they were only out for 24 hours because i think in previous years they were out for for a little bit longer they were out till like 6 p.m the next day mm. um which i i thought that i had a little bit longer but unfortunately it was uh i, I didn't and uh i didn't do the sbc mm. i regret not doing it because it looks like a really solid card yeah, I, I agree. I wouldn't. I wouldn't play him actually on on uh, on not full cam with a shadow. Uh, just doesn't make sense if you spend that much on the shadow and then you cannot use its uh, full potential. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something I would change. Um, also, not too sure about Mondi on the left back position. Mm. Yeah, no, that's a, that's definitely one that it you know could be could be changed. Um, I see why he's got that. Uh, obviously, yeah. needing the link with Komen. Um, and Van Dyke. I mean, you could you could swap out Komen. You could go with, for example, with uh, UEFA Europa League Martial yeah. is a is, is an option. Um, or even um, I think the UCL Human Son is the left mid card. Um, yeah, two is. options if you sold Komen, you could go with. And then you've got the option, or so the freedom, should I say, for any left back from the Prem, a Robertson, a, a Kieran Tierney, two two left backs I've enjoyed this year. Um, so yeah, I, I personally, I don't think it's worth going with a with a, a Ben Mendy, especially the fact that you actually need a shadow, and shadows are so expensive yeah. uh, to make that card work and to, for it to play in a uh, in a manner that's going to be usable in game. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure he's uh, the best option. Yeah, and the big disadvantage yeah. with a with a shadow is that it doesn't boost the physical stats. So. Anchor is always better if the left back or the full back in general has um, has a good pace from his base stat. So, yeah, I agree. Uh, next squad now is from James, uh, who said hashtag is Haber. All tradable except bench. Same formation in game. 150k for upgrades and willing to save. Please rate my team. Let's check it out. So, uh, so with 150k budget with a team like this, I think there is definitely room for improvement did he so he said uh all tradable except bench mm -hmm. um i think first first things first i would look to improve uh ramos i would uh i'd sell ramos and i'd, I'd look to bring in rafael varan um now that is going to be that is going to set you back probably about 100k so you've only got 50k left over once you've sold ramos and bought varan uh for upgrades but then i'd also sell Jordi alba and i'd bring in uh, ferlan mendy personal preference with left backs i really enjoy Ferland mendy i think he's strong but got good skill moves and weak foot which is uh something i really look for in uh in wing backs mm -hmm. um what do you think with this squad who, who who else would you say there's any improvements you'd make yeah i agree with yours um 
what you also could do uh, is to uh, put in Rashford, right? If you if you replace Griezmann by Rashford and then swap him with Aubameyang, uh, then he gets the yeah. Manchester United link and uh, and uh, Aubameyang gets the Arsenal link. Dembélé has the uh, the Barcelona link to Semedo, so he's also covered. And uh, yeah, the five star skills plus the pace might make sense here. Um, yeah, I, I agree. Actually, I think that you've got a lot of freedom actually to, to go sure. with with uh, you've got like a, a free slot there for just a Premier League striker. So Rashford's a good option. I see he's got Lucas Moore on the bench, who yeah. also could be a possibility. Um, I think I preferred Lucas Moore as a cam than a striker, but each yeah. to their own. Um, but no, I, I think that Rashford's a definitely a good shout. It's a shame that the Footmas Rashford SBC was only out for one day. If that was an SBC that was out for maybe thirty days, and it would allow people to grind towards it. I think that a lot more people would actually get that Footmas Rashford to put into their squads, um, and a, a perfect example here. But uh, but no, I think this squad's this squad's definitely solid. I like the Sizoko there. Have you heard about the the leak about apparently we're getting a Footmas Sizoko? Uh, I haven't actually. Um, in general, me personally, I don't like SBC cards too much because it <laughs> always takes out your coins, and yeah, uh, really. you, you cannot get them back. You you can play these players for like a month or maybe one and a half, and then there are two or three better cards out there, uh, and the uh, coins are just gone. Uh, so personally, I only make SBCs when I'm really sure about using him, or they are really cheap, um, or you have uh, a lot of coins, then well, it doesn't matter. But uh, as for F uh, Fatmas Rashford, for example, it's a really good card. Um, but it was like two hundred thirty thousand or something like that, right? Yeah, it was really it's expensive. Really expensive, really, really expensive. Um, but yeah, it's a great card, anyways, at this uh, current time. So yeah, but I think uh, I like your suggestions here, and uh, yeah. I like this team in general. It's not a bad team. They are all good, yeah, it's a good well players. Team. Yeah, it's not any position where I say this is really stupid or like a really bad decision to use this particular player. Um, I think at this point, it's a team where it just goes for uh, where a lot goes for personal preference. Which players you uh, actually like to play, which you don't like to play, that would be my take here on uh, this team. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I just realized as well. Talking about a potential footmas Sissoko, it could have already came out by the time this this video comes out. Because this is not coming out until Christmas Day, and we're recording this on the nineteenth. So if it has already came out, or if if something along those lines has come out, that is why we don't know about it yet because we are actually technically in the past. What is this number um, on the on the kit? Do you know that Sissoko? I don't know actually. Let me check. Um, let's have a look. Sissoko seventeen for Spurs. Okay. Interesting. So he should have came already, right? And I'm not sure. Footless. I don't know what format they're doing this year. I, I, I'm not entirely sure. But um, last year was uh, after the the uh, kit number, right? I think so. Yeah. Uh, two years ago, I saw a post um, about this year. Like people have gone so in depth about what it could possibly be this year, and I think mm. someone was saying something about where the team finished. Oh, okay. Not hundred percent sure though. I, I I don't actually know that to to be exact though. So I, you know, I wouldn't take my word for it but where the team finished in in terms of the league table or i think so yeah i'm not i'm not 100 then again that wouldn't make sense as well because yeah. spurs finished quite high in the premier league so and um, we're in we're in day 19 so it wouldn't it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense oh. he's hoping to ea to pull it out of the bag in some way you yeah, know you if never they know. think <laughs> they can get a lot of coins for an sbc card they will figure it out True. they will do whatever <laughs> they can Oh, anyway, uh, the next one is from Tyler, who says, I play the same team in game. Vardy's untradeable and my bench is all loans. I have 10,000 coins for an improvement. I have no idea what to do. Keep it the great bits. Thank you very much, Tyler. Appreciate that. So uh, his team name is Severe Injury. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Um, first things first, this informed dunk over at right center back card. Sell that. I think you probably only get about 10K for him, but you've already doubled how many coins you've got. I would sell him and bring in uh, Davinson Sanchez. He's about 7K now. He's really cheap and I thoroughly enjoy him. He might even be cheaper than that now. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy Davinson Sanchez this year. I think he's a uh, really, really good card. I think next up, I probably replace Digne with... For the coins, maybe Tierney. I don't know. Who do you think... Uh, who's your favorite Premier League left back this year? 
I don't think I played a lot of left backs uh, from the Premier League. Um, but I think I would prefer Mondi over uh, Digne. That's for sure. Um, yeah. uh, who else is there? I liked Kieran Tierney. I think he's got five star week for and, and he's really fast. Um, as well, I think there is uh, Patrick Van Anholt. Yeah. It could be a good option. I haven't actually looked into his card this year. 87 pace there. Um, not not horrendous stats there. I think it's a shame with, with left backs in the Prem this year because either they don't have amazing pace, like Robertson, who's got 85, which is good, but not amazing. Yeah. Uh, but they have good defensive stats or they have poor defensive stats and good pace. Oh. The, um, the 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 cross-pollination of good defensive stats and good pace is, is hard to come by this year. Yeah, one of the best cards was Angelino, but that's an SPC card or like a, it was a, an objective or something. Yeah, yeah, that was a, it was a, it was a, I think there was a player pick between Idrissa Garner and uh, Angelino. Ah, true, 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 true. Yeah. Yeah. Looked like a really solid card. I, I would have done it, but I don't like City players as a Man United fan. <laughs> um, so I'll just leave it, leave it there. Uh, Luke Shaw um, might be another option this year. Yes. He came back <laughs> from the dead in FIFA 17. He was really strong. <laughs> uh, now he's he's a, a rare gold card again. Um, could also be an option here. Maybe. Yeah, definitely. Um, midfield wise, would you would you make any changes to his midfield? Poof, uh, I have to look at that Madison card. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about Madison to be honest. Um, I agree. I don't think he's um, I don't think he's a stick option. Yeah. I think a card we could look at is one we looked at in your episode that second in form McGinn. Yeah. He Definitely a, a big option. upgrade here. Also, also yeah. Lingard. I don't know. Um. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Lingard. <laughs> it, it, I, that's another position. I feel like this year Premier League comes where there's not a whole lot of options. I mean, maybe a Zaha. Yeah, but he's also not good in passing, right? It's very difficult. True. I mean, but you could swap him with uh, Lucas. Then you have a good cam. True. So yeah, that would you make could sense. go Lucas Cam and then Zaha up top. Yeah. Um. But no, I think you've got good foundations. It's just about picking the meta players over uh, the higher rated players here. And I think there's no point having informs if those informs are horrendous. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's just 10,000 coins wasted in the squad. Yeah. Um, but I think we're going to call it there for the episode. Or not the episode, obviously, this, this portion of the episode. This is going to be a really long episode. Um, but I think we're going to call it there for this po portion of the episode. We've been recording loud for like 22 minutes. Time flies when you're just talking about FIFA. True. Feel like. True. Um, but a massive, massive thanks, Sheesh, for coming on the episode. Um, and making my Christmas the best Christmas it could have been. Um, it was a, uh, but no, I really appreciate you jumping on the episode, mate. Honestly, it was a, uh, it's a great, great crossover. We have to do this again for sure, for sure. It was a lot of fun, and I think it's always very interesting to uh, actually see different viewpoints uh, because you're always in your own, in your own little FIFA world. But uh, to yeah. actually talk about it and to, uh, to exchange uh, thoughts, I think it's it's great, and uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I agree, definitely. We have to do this. I think we should make it like a monthly thing. Yeah. Where every month we jump on and we, we do like a joint thing because it's uh it, like it's like you said the the conversation points and the debating different positions is definitely I think it's healthy for uh for making better content for sure. So massive thanks again, mate, for coming on. Uh, Thank you. And I don't know what we're actually going to transition into next. I haven't fully planned out this episode, but whatever comes next comes next. So. Yeah, let's go to that. Don't worry, Dylan. I'm not going to not check out your squad. I know you sat there panicking right now, hoping that you make it. I'm joking. But, you know, I think if I was Dylan right now, I'd be nervous that my squad wouldn't be featured. Of course, we're going to pick up as soon as, as we can where we left off. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed me having Sheesh on the channel. Uh, I'd love uh, to hear your feedback whether I should do this a lot more. Um, yeah. We had guests sort of lined up. I was supposed to record with Nep. Nep failed to show up to recording session. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know we, we, we've reached out to a few different YouTubers uh, AJ3 seems interested Swayback seems interested Pieface seems interested so there's a, a few different YouTubers that I'm down to sort of collab with in, uh, on this series uh, so let me know down below if that's something you want to see um, and, and uh, let's move on to uh, to the rest of these squads so the next one's from Dylan I have 300,000 coins but can easily grind for more only untradables are Trossard, Gabamin and Vert 
I'm guessing Vertonghen, and the bench are loaned. I play both formations in game. Love the Vidsky with the good work. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. So, wow, well, you got a loan holiday. That's actually pretty insane. Um, what would I improve with this team? How many coins do you say you had again? 300k. That's a lot of coins to improve. I would say your backline needs massively improving. I'm going to predict that you've done Footmas, uh, Davinson Sanchez. That came out today for me, but a few days ago for you. Uh, so I'm going to predict that you've you've replaced Alderweireld with Footmas, uh, Davinson Sanchez because it seems like a logical move for you. You seem to like uh, Spurs uh, and, and you've got a lot of Spurs players in there. So I, I'm just going to make that assumption. Um, what else would I do with this team? Wouldn't go with Lacelso. I understand maybe you're a big fan of Spurs, but I think Lacelso is definitely a downgrade for you. I would personally go with Suzoko or uh, with 300k, maybe Kante. Um, other options are possibly Team of the Year nominee um, Wijnaldum is another good option. There's a, there's a lot of good options in the Prem. Uh, you could also go with someone like De Bruyne if you want a more attacking option. Uh, that could be a good option there at centre mid. Um, the rest of the team is great. I think the rest of the team is fantastic. You've got the right players in the right positions. I just think Lo uh is definitely a weak link. I think Vertonghen's a weak link as well. I would genuinely lo lose. I would genuinely use uh, maybe a, a Joe Gomez over Vertonghen or a Laporte over Vertonghen. I wouldn't go with Vertonghen as, as my main uh, centre-back. Um, I would say if you've done Davinson Sanchez, replace Vertonghen. If you haven't done Davinson Sanchez, replace both of them with just look for sort of meta centre-backs in the Premier League. Joe Gomez, um, Laporte is pretty good. Uh, there's a few decent options, and I'm sure people in the comments can help you out with them. Uh, but I just wouldn't go with those two as a centre back partnership, personally. Uh, I just wouldn't. Uh, the next team is going to be from Leo Francesca. Switch De Jong and Griezmann in game. Only Taliso, Hernandez, De Jong, Trippier, and Stegen are tradable. Also have 550k left. What do I do? What do I do? Okay, so I don't like Griezmann in this game. I'm going to stop talking like that. I'm sorry. I don't like Griezmann in this game. Um, I understand that he's sort of for chemistry reasons. I guess you're using him, but it doesn't also make sense at the same point. I would also, the same point I made to the other person, go with Iago Aspas' screen card over Griezmann. I would then replace Trippier with Nelson Semedo as well, because I'm not a big fan of Nelson Semedo. Uh, sorry, I'm not a big fan of Trippier. I'm a big fan of Nelson Semedo. I'm not a big fan of Trippier. So I'll go with Nelson Semedo over there at right back. Um, the rest of it looks good. I like I like the strike force. I like the cams, the rest of it. Uh, the CDMs are decent as well. Um, so yeah, I think the rest of it's great. I just think that replace Griezmann and, and Trippier, basically, with, with, with your squad. I think that you can do that quite quite easily. In fact, you could probably go with an icon as opposed to Griezmann. Maybe like a Hadji or someone like that would be a good option. The next team coming from Oscar, who says, Rio and the bench are untradeable. Thinking about doing Footmas Mendy and getting in for Mares. Is Otamendi worth getting? Uh, is Otamendi worth getting? Do you mean Mendy? Do you mean Footmas Mendy? I'm guessing you mean Footmas Mendy. Um, keep up the great work. Well, thank you very much, man. So here is the thing. Here is the thing about, about Footmas Mendy, right? It's a lot of coins. Uh, how much is Footbin actually valuing this SBC at right now? 300,000 coins on PlayStation or 295k on Xbox is a lot of coins. I totally agree with you. It's a lot of coins, all right? That's fair enough. But it's a left back you will most likely use for the rest of FIFA 20. Unless we get a team of the season card, like a team of the season Alexandro, a team of the season Furlan Mendy, a team of the season Angelino, for, the, for, for example, maybe a team of the season Robertson, and it fits into your team, then you might upgrade Furlan Mendy. But until then, I think Footmas Furlan Mendy might be the go-to left back for most people for the rest of the game. Especially if you're trying to fit into a team where you've got Varane or Edem Militao at left centre-back and you need that uh, Real perfect link or strong link. Um, I think that he's definitely going to be the go-to left back. So for 300k for an untradeable card, yes, it's a lot of coins, but it's a card you're going to be using for the entirety of the rest of FIFA 20 Ultimate Team. It is 100% worth it, in my opinion. 100%. I would go for it any day of the week. Uh, as for your team and where you can upgrade, it's a difficult one because you've got some phenomenal players here. I would say you could upgrade Varane. I would go maybe Baby Cannavaro if you've got the coins. Baby Cannavaro felt great to me. You could even go with Road to the Final uh, Edem Militao, depending on which is your uh, personal preference. I would then uh, save for Messi over at right mid. Um... I'm, I mean, obviously, I'm not a big fan of you playing Mbappe there, but you ain't going to get anyone better there, are you? I'm just not a big fan of you playing Mbappe there, but I ain't going to go there. I ain't going to go into it. Um, but yeah, I'd say save up for Messi at right mid. 
Do Foot Must Fall and Mendy save up for Road to the Final, Ed Militao or Baby Cannavaro, I'd say. Definitely. Very, very, very nice team. Very, very, very nice team indeed. Super solid. The next one is from Philip Sandberg. Hey, hey, we've got 100k for upgrades. Comb and Pepe Sizoko and Lindelof are only tradables. Play 43 on in game with Perlo Cam. Love the vid to keep with the good work. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that, dude. Okay. Uh, how many coins do you say for upgrades again? You have 100k for upgrades. Where could I? Where would I improve with this squad? I would say your right back could be improved to Nelson Semedo, definitely. Um, I think that, oh, you could also possibly upgrade Endon Bele to, I mean, I'll see you getting the link with uh, Coleman up there. That's a difficult one, to be honest. What you could do, now, you're going to end up downgrading the, the left back a little. I mean, actually, hmm. What I'm trying to do is try to work out how you can play a couple of players in here. You could go with Taliso and his uh, team of the tournament card over here at, at, at left CDM. Or I see you've got his storyline card on the bench, actually. Go with Taliso's storyline card at left CDM. Go with Rusion's left back card at left back, because I see you've got him on the bench as well. Uh, go with uh, your Konate card on the bench. And then just get a goalkeeper that works. Any goalkeeper that works in there. Maybe Neto. There's no point making such a weakened squad to fit one goalkeeper in i would honestly say get rid of get rid of De Gea, bring in that that Taliso that's on the bench uh bring in that konate bring in that rusion and go with uh maybe neto or any goalkeeper that works really there just isn't any point you're just you're weakening your squad for no reason here mate I, i'll be honest with you so that's what i would say doing with your squad uh the next one's coming from bradley price who says, use the same formation in game, have 145k to spend. Everyone is untradeable apart from Marshall and Reserves, who ha has a red, uh, who starts over Dembele, um, Mendy, Semedo, and Payet. Okay. Oh, okay. Everyone's untradeable apart from. Okay, I got it. I thought you were just listing players randomly. What would I change about this squad? <sighs> Vardy got to go. Bernardo Silva got to go. Um, straight away. I would say, how many coins did you say you had? You have 145k. Everyone is untradeable apart from Martial. Mendy, Semedo, and Payet. So it's, it's an untradeable card over here. What would I go? I'll put your Dembele over here at right, uh, right wing. Obviously, you've got Martial left wing. You can go with any French striker then. I would say start with maybe um, maybe a Ben Yedder. And then obviously save towards Mbappe, definitely. But that's, that's definitely an upgrade I'd make with your squad. The next one is from Ben, who says, Hi, Haber, have 100,000 coins to, to spend on. Uh, untradables are Walcott, Keane, Longley, Carlos, Oblak, and all of the bench players are untradable. Okay, so... Ooh, I see, I see, I see. Interesting that the dynamic image on, on, on Mbappe just disappeared. That's quite funny. Um, how many coins do you say you have? 100,000 coins for upgrades? Honestly, for 100k, I mean, the only upgrade I can see you doing is, is getting Ferlan Mendy or Rusion over here at left back. Or just getting Footmas Rusion. It's a free card. Get Footmas Rusion over here at left back. Um, and then just save. Just save and save and save, really. Save your coins and try and get try and upgrade to like icons, for example, and plays like that. Because um, realistically, for 100k, you ain't upgrading anyone in that squad. The next squad come from another Ben now. Hi, Haber. Have 140k to improve this squad to Stegen, Griezmann, Mares, Martial, Wright, and Son are untradeable. Please rate and improve. Thanks and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, bud. Okay, so let's have a look at this squad then. Um, I see. I see what you're doing with this squad. What would I do with it to improve? Um, <laughs> honestly, like this is the thing. For 140k, realistically, to keep chemistry, there's no improvements you can make. I think you start saving. The next the next stop for you is probably uh, informing Mbappe over here at left mid. Um, I mean, you could go with, for example, you could swap Ian Wright and Son and go with uh, Dembele at right mid and get full chemistry with Dembele. It's a little bit of a boring option, but it would work. Uh, so you could do that if you wanted to. Um, but I would say then just, just working on upgrading to players like Mo uh, Mbappe and people like that, you know, the meta players is definitely... Uh, the best option next. The next team is from Kieran, who says I have 100,000 coins for upgrades. Cliver, Mbappe, Akuna, Tellez, Carlos, and the bench are all untradeable. 4 2 3 1 in game. Love the video, keep the good work, and have a good Christmas. You too, Kieran. I hope you have a good one. Um, <laughs> straight away, Nelson Smedo at right back. Massive improvement straight away. Um, what's next? I would say upgrading Varan to Road to the Final Ed Emiletau. Obviously, you don't have the coins for that right now, but that's a, a future upgrade because the rest of the team is fantastic and there's nowhere else you can upgrade here apart from uh, future upgrades like Road to the Final um, Ed Emiletau. Now, I've also noticed uh, a theme here. Everyone's using this Akuna at CDM. 
If you are, please let me know how he is down below because he looks great, but I'd say more as a centre mid as opposed to CDM. Um, but no, definitely I'd say Nelson Semedo right back and then work on getting road to the final Ed Emiletau. And let me just tell you right now, that road to the final Ed Emiletau was insane when I used him. He was absolutely unreal. He really was. The next one is going to be from Wolfboy, who says, I have 100,000 coins for upgrades. Nestor is untradeable, but Roy Keane is tradable. The rest of the special cards are untradeable. Love the vids, keep the good work. Thank you very much, man. So, um, Nestor's untradable. Roy Keane is tradable. Oof. How many coins did you say you had again? 100k. Uh, I would say upgrade um, Arturo Vidal for De Jong. Um, and then I would say... Hmm, I would say then... You've got a few options, realistically. Uh, but a lot of them are going are gonna to take massive changes to the squad. I would say until you have got like six, 700k in the bank, keep the squad as is. And then resend in your squad when you've got five, six, 700k. And we'll go from there. Save up your coins for now and we'll go when you've got a bunch of coins in the, in the club ready to, to sort of unleash into a new squad. Because I would rework this entire sort of side of the squad. I'd say you've got a nice right side, but the rest of it needs reworking in my opinion. Um, so make sure you resubmit, definitely. Uh, I think we've already done key in squad, haven't we? Uh, Nakata, inform my now. Yes, we have. Uh, we've already done key in squad. So this one's going to be from Max Ward. He says, second team is in-game. All SBCs, icons, and the bench are untradeable. I have around 500k for upgrades after nine golem. Love your vids. Keep with the good work. Thank you very much, man. So after you get nine golem, you got 500k. What to do with this squad? Um, that's a good question. I would refrain from subbing on uh by the way i love that there's little like marks you guys can't see them but there's you can see down here on trap's face there's a mark where he's like cropped on his iphone that's quite funny uh i would refrain from subbing players on now who are you subbing off and who are you subbing on i see you're subbing off crespo really wow that's interesting you know what i would do instead what i would personally look toward doing i would look toward uh possibly and this is, this is something that's going to be like quite out there. I would say don't get Nine Golan. I would say get Bataglia, the League SBC Bataglia. Let me show you what the card looks like real quick. Because I think he gets a strong, uh, a perfect link, sorry, to um to the other card. So I would say get this card, this Bataglia card. Gets a perfect link to Akuna. Then you don't have to worry about links anywhere else. Uh, and then I would say put this Latara Martinez card as your middle center mid and get any city uh like player at cdm over here or you could keep latino martinez there um and you've just got a bunch of, of more freedom to work with i'd then keep crespo as well and just play him as a center mid um and i would also get rid of audrey zola here for alaba or Jordi alba sorry not alaba um i think your squad is super good in game though i think it looks really really nice uh definitely uh, the next one's going to be from, uh, I think we've already done ask, uh, Oscar. It's going to be from Casper Silisek, who says, Untradables are Royce, Roberto Carlos, PK, and Pep Guardiola. I have 100k to spend. First pick is how I start. Second is how I play in game. Keep the amazing work. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate that. So uh, you have 100k to spend. Okay. What to do with this squad? It's definitely interesting. Definitely a very interesting squad. I like it, actually. With 100k, you're going to find it hard to improve, though. I would maybe say, out of personal preference, uh, Usman Dembele. Uh, right mid that's just personal preference i prefer him over to bail apart from that i'd keep it the way it is uh, i think this is a very strong squad you could go with uh yelga as a screen card over griezmann uh, i would say maybe he's a better option but aside from that no it's a solid squad very very nice squad i think we're gonna call it there as well i don't know how long this episode is gonna be i'm hoping it's around the 40 minute mark i would say that's definitely a, a super long episode um, if you guys want to see longer episodes in the future maybe we start doing like a 30 minute one on sundays that might be a cool option to introduce and i think definitely we'll do longer episodes if we can uh get new sort of uh i guess uh, additions on the channel new new special guests let me know down below if there's anyone you want to get as a special guest but hey massive thank you for all the support this year you guys don't realize it but you've changed my life you really have you've, you've absolutely changed my life this year i can't be more grateful um it's been crazy it's been one hell of a ride and i'm, I'm just riding it out we'll carry on going so thank you all for your epic support uh i can't i couldn't have done a lot of things i've done this year without you guys i really couldn't have and uh and i hope that you all have a fantastic christmas um, and if any of you guys out there right now maybe aren't enjoying Christmas, maybe you're not with your family, maybe you're feeling lonely, reach out to me on Twitter. I'd love to have a conversation with you. I'll be trying to stream tonight on Christmas night as well. Uh, just have just have some interaction with you guys. Um, I know sometimes for some people Christmas can be a lonely place. So I wanted to try and bring some joy and happiness to people that maybe are 
not in the best place right now. So thank you for watching. Have a fantastic Christmas. And we'll see you guys in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow morning with Champs Rewards. Let's do it. See you then. Thank you for watching. See you later, guys.